Hey everybody, Dr. Greg here. <laughs> this is an oldie, right? And I've had it for a long time. And I'm kind of having fun going back and playing some like AAA games at DR, and I forgot all about this mod. Let me tell you, it was a, it was fun getting it going. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead here and uh, let's see something really quick. Alright. Um, okay. Back. Alright. Alright. Okay. Let's get going here. Uh, campaign. We're gonna do a new game, even though I just tried to get this thing working in VR last night, so. Doom 3. We're gonna go with Marine level. I might the Union that. Aerospace Corporation is the largest corporate entity in existence. Originally focused on weapon and defense contracts, new ventures have expanded into biological research space exploration, and other scientific endeavors. With unlimited funds and the ability to engage in research outside of moral and legal obligations, the UAC controls the most advanced technology ever conceived. <laughs> this is fun. Oh my gosh, it's been so many like years since I've really played this game. Well, Incoming transport detected. Well, this is weird. <laughs> Hi, how are you? I'm Mars sitting Approach on Dark Star with U07063 <laughs> passing through 38000. Okay. Roger, Dark Star. Descend to 2000. Set speed. Contact ground on 26972. Roger that tower. <laughs> we have them on radar, sir. They'll be landing in a few moments. Excellent. See that Counselor Swan is sent directly to me. Yes, sir. Oh, this is such an old game. I don't Tower, care. Dark Star on fun. I remember playing it on PC. It was so fun. It was the first game. We've got Dark Star. I played on a gaming oh, PC. Man. I was always a console man. I can't really believe it's thing. come to this. I didn't want to come here. He left you no choice. True. But this is the last time. I'm tired of running damage control every time he makes a mess. Right. You're the control. And if that fails, I'm the damage. <laughs> if that's what it takes. But Truger is going to start doing things our way. Whatever you say, mm. Counselor. Tell ya, uh, I had, um, tried a mod last night, it must be a new one, and, uh, it, like, did this weird thing where, first of all, the, the frame rates and everything were really, really janky, and when you go to move, it would just, like, teleport, it'd make, like, your character walk out in front of you, the 3D model, and then you'd teleport to it, like, that really lame movement scheme they had in, uh, L.A. Noir. Same thing. It, it sucked. And then I got this one, and the updated version of it, I mean, I think it's like 12.6. Uh, when you go to move, it would put this black frame around your field of view, and you everything would go slow-mo. And I was like, oh my god, what would they do to this mod? But then I went back to an old version, and now it's working, so that's good. All right. I'm not going to worry too much about that. This is how I tell you my mod experience. Welcome to Mars. Hey, how All you doing? All new arrivals need to check in at reception. I have a flashlight. I don't know how to use it, though. Welcome to Mars City, Union Aerospace's premier research facility. To expedite your process, please proceed of here. directly to reception. I'm not really sure how. 
Maybe it's because he already talked. Did I come up this one? I don't think. And every time I've played this game, I've ever noticed this platform before. Huh. Cool. All right. Ooh, we can move fast. Here. We'll see. Maybe it, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Welcome to Mars, Marine. Hey. I'm gonna need you to step on one of those red squares on the floor for a bioscan. This'll only take a second. Do I need to get naked? Okay, let me get this started. You're gonna need to hold still. Moving around only makes the test take longer. I'm moving. All right, bioscan looks good. You're cleared for entry. Oh. <laughs> On behalf of the UAC, welcome to Mars City. This facility serves as the central hub for all scientific research, archaeological study, base. and military Please report to central administration. Goal number one at the UAC is the safety and well-being of all employees and guests. To help achieve this goal, we ask you to follow Some all UAC corporate computers. procedures at all times. This includes restricting your movement to areas for which you have clearance. Always remain alert and aware of what you and others are doing. If you notice anything out of the ordinary, or just have a simple question, find the nearest UAC security guard. Hopefully I'll be they able They are to... here to help, no matter how large or small the problem is. Our station get on that Mars fixed. provides a perfect blend of work Oh, and welcome to Mars. First time? You can just leave your bag there. I'll have it sent up your quarters. Okay, there's a few things we need to take care of first. This is your personal data assistant. You'll need this to access all secure areas. If you get clearance for any security zones, it'll download directly. It's important, so don't lose it. I see here that Sergeant Kelly has requested your immediate attention. Head directly to Marine Command. It's just that way. Follow the signs. Marine Command. All right, personal name. Uh, there we go. Report to Marine Command. It's been so long since I've played this game. That is a very octagonal can right there. Can I... Oh, nope. <laughs> it's one of those. you got to stay in the area. Marine Command, follow the signs. Mars City is a smoke-free facility. Please get... smoke only in designated areas. Thank you for your cooperation. I can't talk to anybody. I'm really upset about it. Hmm. Oh well. I'm here. Hopefully because I Because there seems things. to be some very serious problems. Oh really? Do I need to remind you of the groundbreaking work that we're doing here? No. But I've been authorized by the board <laughs> to look at everything. The board authorized you? Hmm. The board doesn't know the first thing about science. All they want is something to make them more money. Some product. Don't worry. They'll get their product. <laughs> After how many <laughs> These accidents? Graphics are Tell hilarious. me, Dr. Petruger, why are so many workers spooked, complaining, requesting transfers off Mars? They simply can't handle life here. They're exhausted and overworked. If I had a larger, more competent staff and bigger budget, even these few accidents could have been avoided. I'm afraid you'll get nothing more until my report is filed with the board. I will need full access, Dr. Petruga, Delta included. I won't have any difficulties doing that, will I? Only if you get lost, Swan. Just stay out of my way. Amazing things will happen here soon. <laughs> you just wait. Hmm. Let's go. Okay. Marine Command. Monorail Station. Bathrooms. Oh, hey. Yeah, I saw those suits arrive too. Very weird. Are. The UAC must be worried about something. I hear there's been more accidents in Delta. <laughs> accidents? That's good. Is that what they're calling him now? So, tell me, 
Just what the hell is happening over there? Beats me, man. Look, all <laughs> I do is repair the converters when they blow, okay? That's it. Why? But what's overloading them so much? I mean, how much damn power do they need? I wouldn't ask him if I was you, man. I heard Travis started poking around and he got transferred fast. Didn't even see him leave. Hell, no one saw him go. Was he one minute? On the next? Lucky bastard. <laughs> What's happening? Marine Command, that's where I needed to go. Attention, Dr. Braddock. Please report to Environment Management Office 4 Alpha. Hey, Marine Command. Need report to Sergeant Kelly Thank ASAP. You. He's in Command HQ. Excellent. Thank you, dude. This is Delta Science Management. We would like to request another security team here in Delta. Yes, sir. Thank you. Hmm. Jeez, look at that gun. Took your sweet time, Marine? Kinda. Now, here's the situation. Another member of the science team's gone missing. Since you're the ranking FNG, you get to find him. I want you to check out the old decommissioned comm facility. We heard he might be heading that way. The only way there is through the service passage under Mars City. I've programmed this sentry to guide you to the maintenance elevator. Hope you follow the sentry better than you've followed orders so hey, far. Hey, Pick up some gear at the security checkpoint at the bottom of the elevator. Oh, and when you find him, just bring him back. Do not hurt him. Now move out. You take me where we're going here, bud. There we go. Who's a good boy? Whoa. Attention UAC personnel. Interested in earning more credit? Volunteer at Delta Labs today. See your service branch director for more details. Did you hear what Carter said? No. What? He said that he saw some nice surprise. No. I'm coming. Jeez. The UAC cares about the quality of life of its employees. Please take advantage of our quality medical care services. The guy just came out of the bathroom. Wonder if he washed his hands. Okay. Oh, there we are. Alright, so what I'm looking for a maintenance, maintenance entrance. Now this about killed me. Oh, it's not bad at all. I remember the first time I played this game, uh, and I tried the VR mod, and I only got to about here. And, uh... Hmm. Can I go back in there? No. Okay. Can I jump? I can't jump. Aha! I did it. <laughs> Alright. Maybe just unplugging my controller or restarting after assigning the Vive controllers. I don't know, but now it works. So <laughs> These flat textures are fun. Welcome to the dungeon, Marine. Hey, thanks. Most unexciting place on Mars. Yeah. I'm gonna need you to grab some armor and secure your pistol before I can pass you through security. Fuck yeah. I'm okay, all... grab your gear. I will do so. Yeah! Now you're ready for combat. Let me do a radio <laughs> test. <laughs> Got my PDA. Mars sec radio check. Excellent. Oh, Good signal. Current mission objectives. Looks Find like you've been assigned the decommissioned comm facility. Just follow the main passage through the underground junction, then straight out. You'll have a quick evac. And what better way to see the Martian surface than to run across it? Okay, you're all set. Oh. Oh yeah, keep in mind, civilians are working down here. Don't get excited and shoot any. Okay. Try to figure out how to turn the flashlight on. There it is. You don't have a lot of time, Marine. You need to move out. Oh, stop. I'm just doing my thing. Finding my stuff. 
Oh, there was a bunch of bugs just ran out. Whee! Oh, haven't seen anyone new down this way in quite some time. Yeah. Welcome to the dungeon, brother. Hey, thanks. Enjoy your stay. I will. Grant Baston, your environmental services supervisor. The date is October 19th. I've been hearing an alarming number of reports on some uh, unexplainable thing. Being on another planet and working underground has always been a little spooky, so we always have the occasional report of strange things. But what is worrying me is the fact that the number of these reports are up by a lot. People are truly frightened. The rumors we're hearing about experiments from the Delta Complex are not helping. The power fluctuations aren't helping at all either. Having the lights flicker constantly and losing power for several minutes at a time is scaring everyone down here. I'm doing my best to keep people in track, but we're continually shorthanded. Someone's reporting in sick almost every day. I'll keep my director apprised of the situation and will continue to log reports as I get them. Ah. Unit Supervisor, and we'll update your area. Underground maintenance has been completed. Energy situation to 531. Okay. Guess I don't need that. Okay. That must be a health thing. I'll take any, like, armor or health I can get. This is great. In VR, it's so cool. Can you maintenance guys not keep any of these machines running? Yes, sir. It's just that the science team demands a lot out of these things. Enough excuses. Do your job and get the science team what they need. Well, I'm doing everything, but I just can't explain some of the things that have been happening to the system. It's weird. Just get it done. You can't explain things, though, dude. Yeah, I can't get in there. Make a habit of sneaking up on people? Uh, Everyone's do. already on edge down here with all the strange things that have been going on. Like what? The garage area is right through that door. Now stop bothering me. The equipment seems to be affected by something unseen. 
The equipment seems huh. to be affected by something, something unseen. unseen. So I remember the original? Whoa. I didn't want to see that. Um, there you go. Uh, you could either have the gun or the flashlight, but not both. Now that was pretty terrifying. This, of course, is the BFG edition. It's kind of weird because these rooms, I remember on the computer, at least when I was first playing. So this was like, what, 2011, maybe? Shit. I, uh, no, it would have been hey, earlier than that. new guy headed for the old comm center, right? Yeah. You better hustle up, pal. This passage doesn't go all the way there. You'll have a quick walk outside to the center's airlock. Hey, don't sweat it. Your suit's got plenty of oxygen. Cool. Yeah. I just took your ammo. These seem a lot bigger, at least as I remember them. Okay. Let me get this communication out. They have to be warned while there is still time. That's I can't let right. I, you don't know what I've seen. You can't possibly understand or comprehend. The devil is real. I know. I built his cage. I'm getting abnormal readings here. This is bad. God. I can't hold these levels. Leaders give sit rest. Over. 
This is fucking intense as hell. Command HQ, this is Bravo team. We got one Marine down, two wounded. Command HQ, we are pinned down in Alpha Land. Command HQ, this is Fire Team 2. Main power is down. Back up in life support systems only. We got lots of civilian casualties. It's a mess. Command HQ, attempting to secure the area. Orders and await further orders. There it goes. This is the audio log of Frank Delahue, engineering manager assigned to power production dated October 18, 2145. The current operational status of the grid is 23% over nominal capacity. I've increased work shifts to 12 hours a day for all personnel to keep up with demand. The constant and increasing load from the Delta complex is causing havoc. We are going to start losing critical systems if we have to sustain these levels much longer. I request clearance to requisition parts from other departments in order to maintain our equipment. Okay, I don't know what is going on over at Delta, but I'm doing all I can down here. The constant demands are bad enough, but the rumors going around are making things a whole lot worse. And I gotta tell you, if things don't get better soon, all hell is gonna break loose. This is the audio log of Frank Delahue, engineering manager assigned to power production, dated October 24th, 2145. Reclamation problems continue to plague the main processor. Two more valve overloads on that unit in just the past week. These overloads can destroy the valves, causing very dangerous fire, jetting with enough heat to incinerate sensitive equipment nearby. Today we've had only one reported injury as a result of these valve failures. This is due in large part to the quick response of the engineering team. Our procedure of entering the failure code 842 in the operation terminal has proved adequate and I recommend no changes in that procedure. Party in the Delta. Don't so forget, we're starting the party early, 8.15. Received your complaint, we'll consider your request. Safety is important to us. We'll do everything to ensure security. Okay. Welcome to Mars, Marine. This briefing is designed to acquaint you with a few of the standard operating procedures here on the Mars post. First and foremost, chain of command. Uh, All enlisted personnel are under the command of Master Sergeant Thomas Kelly. 
Sergeant Kelly will assign you to a security detail headed by a security chief. Please report to your security chief for all duty-related concerns. Ah. While on duty, please stay on your assigned patrol coverage area. All PCAs have been pre-designated to provide overlapping security and maximize efficiency. All personnel must have proper authorization in assigned areas. Be sure to annotate any discrepancies on your security inspection report. Safety is integral to all operations here on Mars. Handle firearms with extreme pressure. Never discharge weapons in an area that may compromise the installation's structural integrity. Remembering these procedures is paramount to your success here on Mars. Keep in mind that you represent the greatest fighting force in the galaxy, and your actions are a reflection on the core. Take good care, and good luck on your new assignment.
Sergeant Kelly. We don't know what we're up against. Repeat, we have negative ID on the assailing force. They're mean as so You don't have to get past back to HQ. Stock up on ammo, establish a stronghold, keep them at bay. Back to Marine HQ and await further orders. You go! Jesus Christ! That was, uh. unexpected. Okay. This is really fun. All remaining Marine units, this is Sergeant Kelly. I am unable to reach Mars City from my current position. Move to Marine HQ to meet group and await further orders. There's so much cipher to be able to, uh... Hey, you! Up here! Quickly! Uh -huh. I was the only one still alive. No. I can't believe I found you. Yeah. Something happened. I don't know what. It, it was like a shockwave. It, it passed through the entire base. It started changing. It was crazy. I, I was working up here on the vent shafts. I don't know how I survived. Go for help. Please. So do I just have to physically cross down? Yeah. This is creepy. Be careful. I don't know what's in there. Yeah. This is a ideal.
This is Mark Stanton. Manifest Controller currently stationed at Mars City. I'm not sure who to send this to, so I decided to send it to quite a few people. If you're on the recipient list, please take a moment to review this report. It is quite important. I'm very concerned over the shipping procedures out here. I am the Manifest Controller, and as such, I need to be informed of everything coming in and out of Mars City. Someone here is subverting my position and preventing me from getting data on things being shipped. This is unacceptable. Not only could this reflect poorly on my upcoming review, but this is my job and I'm tired of being out of the loop. I have no idea who keeps telling the shipping crews to allow things in and out without allowing me to produce or procure the manifest. But whoever it is, it must stop. One of the dock workers actually told me to piss off when I tried to stop one of the last containers from going straight to Delta. I immediately filed a report and will follow up with the transit manager next time I see him. End of log. This bronze is mixed and blended together. It's what we're to for a crate of jackhammers. We've got several crates of chainsaws. No jackhammers at all. What the hell are they thinking? Chainsaws serve no purpose. I want a chainsaw. Um. You received the email. You are someone I work with while here on Mars and made an impression on my life. I want you to know I'm leaving Mars. Pursue other details. I want to sing. I will miss you terribly when I think of you often. Our friendships you made here. Hmm. I'm feeling a little uh, love machine going on there. Any idea who this guy is? I think he may be the funny looking dweeb that awful loud. So his, his name is Alan. Okay, I don't care about this. Anything new here? Okay. That thing pretty me, it might have been. I can do anything there. Or there. Command HQ. This is Specialist Wilson. My team is gone. They're all dead. I'm running blind here. What are my orders? Over. Specialist Wilson. This is Sergeant Kelly. Stay sharp, son. Move to your last known RP and fortify your position. We'll find you. I've only got ten rounds here. There we go. Okay. This is a game where I would appreciate cordless. Thank you. 
door. What are these things? I don't know, but stay where you are. Don't let anyone in that room. Jesus Christ! Take all the health I can get. Is this the no, this is different. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Audio log for Dr. Casian, currently stationed at Mars City. I have just left the weekly status meeting here in medical. All these gun the most prominent topic was the vast number of psychological issues we are seeing as of late. The number of reports indicates that 10% of the overall base personnel have shown symptoms. As many people will not come in for this type of thing, the number of affected personnel could truly be in the 30 to 40% range. It's even manifested itself here in medical. We uh, have several nurses and a couple of good doctors out for related reasons. I'm going to formally request two additional psychiatrists on the next shuttle from Earth. The two we have are being overworked, and the content of their sessions with patients is starting to affect them as well. Dr. Casian out. Dr. Mark Casian, at 1547, patient Jonathan Wills was admitted after complaining of insomnia and nausea. According to the nurse, Mr. Wills was calm and exhibited no signs of disorder when he was brought to exam room 5. However, by the time I reached him at 10 after 4, his personality had changed dramatically. When I entered the room, Mr. Wills lunged at me with a scalpel he apparently stole from a supply drawer. With the assistance of an orderly, we managed to subdue and sedate him without injury. Mr. Wills was heavily medicated and could not be diagnosed, but in the 20 minutes he was left unattended, he managed to carve three symbols in his arm and cut his own tongue into halves. <laughs> I, I can only guess at the cause of his problems. He's the emo. I hope that additional psychiatrists arrive soon. In the meantime, in response to this assault, all medical supplies and armaments will be locked in a secure hospital cabinet with the code 347. 347? Dr. Casey and out. That's what I was looking for. Okay. Is there a code thing in here? Ah, right there. Dun, dun, dun. I don't know what that is. Start away.
Marine headquarters here. <laughs> Can't get in. Connection established. Marine. I can't believe you're still alive. Yeah, yeah. I'm unable to return to Mars City. All passages out of the Delta complex have been blocked. I'm setting up a command post here. I can monitor status reports of the entire base from Delta Central Authority and communicate with other Marine teams. It's your mission to link up with Bravo team and get that transmission sent. Head toward Alpha Labs. It's the fastest way to find them. I'll update your PDA security clearance from here. Good job. And good luck, Marine. Security clearance updated. All right. Well, I tell you what. I think this is a good time to uh, call it quits for today. This is super fun. It's like going back in time and playing an old game that really looks pretty freaking decent in VR, and it still plays like Doom. I really love having this. The motion controls, man. This, this. It's just so much better than the, the, I still don't mind gamepad anymore with the aim and look where you're aiming, but man, this is just like, bam, I can see where I'm aiming and it's awesome. It's so easy. Okay, so, uh, hey, here's the link. Watch Jurassic and Kale, uh, season two, it's right here. There's some other series too, like Alien Isolation, maybe, uh, oh, let's do Resident Evil 7. Um, and uh, make sure you like and subscribe and thanks for walking watching not walking like Christopher walking <laughs> that does a terrible joke anyway uh, thanks for watching dr. Greg out